Hi, it's Hazel, and welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. As you can probably tell from this setup, it's time to for me to play catch up yet again with the CCT uh, 52 weekly, well, not week, well, challenge, uh, hosted by Caroline's Craft Tree. Um, I had a physio appointment today for my poor little old left shoulder. <clears throat> and when I got home, I thought, I am going to stick with this until I catch up, or reasonably so. So, let's begin. Um, I've said in the past how much I enjoy doing, uh, well, I guess you, you might uh, suspect that that's not true, based on the fact that I'm always playing catch-up, but uh, I do love the challenge of these uh, of this whole concept the thing I like least about the whole idea um, is how much time I spend looking for the component pieces that I need and in most cases <coughs> excuse me I know very well that I have the stuff so what the the lesson here because i'm always looking for the life lesson and everything that i do everyone i encounter every you know blah 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 the the lesson for me here is that i if harvest ever starts and if harvest ever finishes i need to spend some time um pulling together some of those basics that i know i have mega quantities off but just cannot lay my hands on them when I need to and uh, well there there are a few examples here one of them was uh, well maybe I'll, I'll mention it as we get to the to the um, to that particular prompt now this was the first one that I had worked on but I thought well I'm not doing a video for one of them. So this is week 33 and it was an envelope. So basically just a regular size 9 or 10 or whatever size that is envelope. Um, so I had advertising, zigzag, favorite animal, and shapes. So triangles, zigzag, advertising. Oh, and what did I say? Oh, favorite animal. So I just picked a dog. Now I, <clears throat> um, this is a top loading pocket um, that I made using an envelope. And this part here is actually a belly band. Um, I guess, essentially, because it's not a pocket. It doesn't have a bottom to it. So that was week 33. Um, what did I do next? Not that it really matters. Pro probably this one. So week 34 was also an envelope. So I just used the other half of that one. And of course, in each case, uh, because I didn't do anything to the back, these would just get glued down. So corner design, children, hourglass, and math. Okay, so on this, and this is why I got stalled. Because I couldn't, for the life of me, find a math book. Luckily, I thrifted one and still hadn't put it away. I could not um, find an hourglass, so I had to draw one. And corner design, I thought, oh, that would be a perfect time to use some of these photo corners. Like, I have so many of them, but... I didn't really know where they were. So I had to look and look and look. And I will put these in a more obvious place with a label so that I do begin using them. So basically, again, just covered the pocket, had this out of a vintage uh, kids reader, used them for the corner design bit. I just used the photo corners, drew the hourglass behind the thing, the photo or the illustration added a tag and that was it for week 34 
Now, week 35 was a page. Uh, hopefully, I can find it quite quick. I should have marked it, perhaps. Uh, this binder, <clears throat> there it is. This binder is not really wanting to close, so it's it's pretty chunky. So I either have to consolidate these things a bit or or just maybe use ring binders and forget using this this little album. So for week uh, 35, I said it was a page. So I and it was a palm, lavender, and a bicycle. So um, the lavender is came off one of my favorite napkins, uh, very you know French in design. So and I had a fussy cut. Oh, that's the other thing. Where the heck was my little thing with fussy cuts? Or not fussy cuts, die cuts. But luckily I had two bikes, so I picked the more colorful one, and I was able to. Or even poetry. Now typically I avoid buying books of poetry you know just you know poems uh, unless it is heavily illustrated and I like the illustrations because it just seems to me um I don't know I just like doesn't appeal to me that much so I had to deconstruct a book because I looked through a whole bunch of book blocks so I took this apart I was thinking, wouldn't this be cute for a tiny little bee journal? Um, anyway, so somewhere here. Oh yeah. Were these uh were these book pages with the you know the poems, but so I just grabbed one of those and was able to do that. Okay, so that was week 35. So then week 36 was a oh here okay a journaling card so I had a piece of packaging I covered it with a page from a typewriting uh, book this is how long it really was um but then I thought oh that's kind of big and of course once I found my die cuts I thought well I have a, a funky typewriter why don't I use that and then I picked uh, a wax seal that I thought kind of went with all of this. And the last prompt was water. So I just, again, where where am I going to start looking for water? So I just ripped part of uh, an atlas or, yeah, an atlas page. And that's the Atlantic Ocean there. And I put a little bit more of the ocean in the corner. Uh, added the word specifications that uh, was somewhere on that sheet. Left the little, um, what would you call that? You know, the how they mark on an atlas page, they'll mark the, the vertical and the horizontal so that you can use those two coordinates to find exactly what, where you want to, uh, the city or whatever you want to find. So I used that as well. So that was week 36. Uh, so I'll have to clip that in or put it in a pocket or something. I'll just add it to this little pile here. Then week 37. Oh, was also, I did, oh, my first page had never been done, believe it or not. I just had this clipped on here. So week 37 was also a page. So the prompts were receipt, furniture, and ticket. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, not so much of a pot. Well, it looks like this thing is staying. Um, these are this. I have a cute roll of these uh, attractive, fancy tickets. So I just uh, because they're perforated there, the the part that you throw in the draw and the part that you keep. I scotch taped the back of this so it wouldn't, you know, come open. I found this receipt. Now, see how I can't leave well enough alone? Oh, 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 oh. So it must have caught. Anyway, I found this receipt from 1997. It must have been in a book that I bought. 
came from a store. I don't even, this place doesn't exist anymore for the love of books. 111th Street and 65th Avenue. Huh. Can't even picture that. Um, oh, and this was the back page, the back of the sheet, I, or the page I covered with um, a page uh, with furniture, chiffoniers, uh, out of an old Eaton's catalog. So then I thought, well, this isn't much of a, a layout or a design here. So I had this envelope that's been kicking around for a while. So I just put a tiny little border around this additional piece of furniture and added a tab to the top of this. Now, of course, this journal will never be used for anything. Um, so I'm not going to worry about backing that or anything like that. And that was week, what did I say? 37. And then my final one, because really it's almost bedtime, um, is this one. Now, um, this is week 38. It is a flip, and I thought, you know, I have so much book page. Why am I not using some book page? So the prompts were uh, leaf, embroidery, nuts and bolts, uh, and paper clip. So you can see that I stenciled. Uh, oh, and this was, a, I ha had also rolled a six, uh, no, yeah, a six, which meant I needed to pick a mixed media prompt. And luckily I got collage because who doesn't love to collage? So basically I just did the stamping with about three or four greens, uh, different greens. And I, because I had found my mechanical book, I was able to actually find a dictionary entry for bolt. I left the word there. And then I went to the ends for nuts, and I got that. Um, I just had some of these little, you know, puny little uh, uh, paper clips, so I used a couple of those. And I had this partial piece of embroidery, and I, I trimmed close to it, and I glued that down. So in the journal, it this little tabby thing would be you know, glued down somewhere. I guess if I was actually doing this properly, um, I would be, oh, I should have measured the page, the height of the page before I did this, but I guess I could trim the top off or even leave it a little bit tall. Um, yeah, I should be gluing all this stuff down. But again, I just wanted to, you know, get get to you and uh, and do this video so that I so that it appears I'm all caught up, which I think it might be week 39. But frankly, if I'm only a week behind, I don't feel quite as bad. Now, of course, um, the other day we had six tenths of an inch of rain. So yeah, I don't know what's happening with, with this weather or our prospects for getting this crop off. But um, I will attempt to uh, stay caught up. And um, I'm sure that if you go to Caroline's channel, you can see a playlist or, or probably a list of the participating channels. Or, of course, you can use the hashtag... Um, CCT52. I need to find a place to glue some of this stuff down. I guess if I did it on this side, I wouldn't be covering anything up there. And I could glue one of these pockets down here. No, this was a journaling card. Uh, this and this. These are pockets. Kill two birds with one stone here. And I don't know why I've got these loose items. 
week 32, week 24, week 23. Hmm. Maybe for now, because it's been a long, 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 long day, I will just group all these things together and worry about, well, this was just a kind of a wraparound thing. I will worry about finding a place for these things later. As I said, I might have to just take this out of here. There's the mermaid. I still don't know where I was supposed to glue her down. Um, yeah, this, <laughs> we got a slight problem here, Houston. Um, anyway, thanks so much for joining me, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.